Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be looking at this plumeria and we're going to look at it under the microscope because since I have got my new microscope and released that first video I've been on the lookout for bugs and plumerias for me are notorious with scale so I have treated this plant in the past for scale and it's midsummer now, well beginning of summer and it has returned there isn't much of it, most of it is dead, the little flexions here are dead, but there is some stuff that is alive. So I wanted to pull down a leaf and see what this stuff looks like under the microscope. So let's have a look. Alright, so let's have a look. Remember, I have to narrate this, there's no microphone under the microscope. So in front of us we have our first look at the scale. Now there's a dead one above it, and then the live one is below in the middle sort of. You can see eyeballs on the live one. And then this is was in the first shot as well, but I couldn't quite see what it is. Some sort of bug stuck to the goo on the underside of the leaf. I, I can't even tell if it's a baby scale or what, but it's frantic. Another shot of the scale, and again you can see it's eyeball clearly and the dead scale from past treatments. But um, I, was, I was amazed to be able to see the eyeball. And there's something that looks like a tusk coming out that's obviously whiskers. There's a better shot of it. Maybe it's an arm or a leg. I'm looking at it now, it's probably a leg. Sort of stuck in position, holding on. And because um, scale, I always thought of it as having like almost like a suction. But obviously it is, it is held on with legs. So, and at this point I was just fascinated with the eyeball end of the arm there. Or the leg. So I flipped the scale over. This is exact one we're looking at. But now you can see underneath of it, this is a stomach area. So looking at this, you can see moving legs. You can see the eyeballs clearly. And you can see the mouth. The mouth is right sort of um, in the middle of the two eyeballs and, and back, way back on the body, sort of behind the first legs. So, I, again, I never thought that you would be able to see moving legs on scale. I never thought of scale as having legs. So it's absolutely, it looks gross. It was, it's not a pretty looking little animal at all. But you got a good shot of the mouth right there. The the sucking device that gets rid of all the, um, the, that sucks all the nutrients out of the leaves. And the little legs that slowly maneuver it. Obviously the legs are more just for um, holding on than, than moving too much. But yeah, this thing, it almost reminds me of a skate, it, like from the ocean, like a stingray, a skate. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but anyways. <clears throat> so, that shot was just disgusting there. And I never dreamed that that's what it would look like underneath. This last little piece here is the hard, crusty, I'm going to call it scale eggs. Now this is looks like it has been treated before. I couldn't see anything live in here. I tried my best to get a good shot inside. So this is either male scale, scale eggs. I don't see anything living, so I'm hoping it's from the last treatment and it is no longer living anyways. But I just want to see the underside of it. So yeah, there we go. And in this next shot coming up, it shows just the little tiny area that I was working in. So you can see the little ring from where the microscope was around there and everything we just saw was from this little tiny spot right there. Well that was really interesting and really cool and really gross. It kind of reminded me of something off of like Predator or something like that. I didn't think we were going to be able to see eyes and a mouth. I never really even thought about scale having eyes or mouth but obviously they do and legs to move around under tucked under the scale under the armor itself. So that was really cool. Anyways I hope you like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I just wanted to give a special shout out to all my Patreon subscribers. Thank you very much for the support.